We've all been there. Arriving to class with multiple binders, notebooks, random sheets of paper, and a dull pencil. I was there at one point and I got fed up with it. And although I may be done with my undergraduate career, you might be in a bit of a different spot. The iPad is every student's sidekick. Whether you're in high school or working on your PhD, I would highly suggest picking one of these up if you don't have one already. However, I think an iPad straight out of the box might not feel like the perfect sidekick. Setting your iPad up for productivity and organization is essential to maximizing doing your schoolwork, consuming content, and anything else you need to do in your day. My first step in setting up an iPad for school was deleting all of those unnecessary apps that you just never open. Apps like stocks, news, suggestions, feedback, anything that you literally never open, get rid of it. Save the space on your iPad and declutter a little bit. Next, personalization. Go find a wallpaper that you enjoy and find something that is nice to look at. When it comes to installing apps, I'd like to start with the Google ecosystem. Google Docs, Sheets, Gmail, and Google Calendar. You can't forget apps like Teams and Zoom with many courses offering a hybrid or fully remote option. If you're looking for jobs and internships, make sure to install LinkedIn as well. That way, if you have some free time, you can look at open positions. Having your iPad set up for success is important, don't get me wrong, but the most important part of using an iPad for school or any other daily activities is organization. Let's take a look. When it comes to things like school schedule, homework due dates, notes, general lists, or even future goals, having an app like GoodNotes or Notability really empowers you to take your iPad to the next level and keep track of all those things. Note taking on the iPad changed my life. Notability gave me the power to organize and plan my week, a skill that I think most students would benefit from having. In terms of assignments, most of my professors would offer a digital and paper version of assignments and notes, allowing me to simply download a PDF and upload it right to Notability. You can even use Notability as a planner. Notability offers many options to choose from, and if you don't like those, feel free to look around on the internet to find one that you like. Within your assignments or planner, you have plenty of tools at your disposal. Multiple color choices for your pen and highlighter, a lasso tool to quickly select and move items on your screen, a text box option if your handwriting isn't very legible like mine, and even an option to record what is being said around you for later playback and fine grain note taking. The switch to writing on glass was simple and smooth. The Apple Pencil is responsive and glides on the glass with ease. The iPad's Retina display has great picture quality and responds to writing with the pencil very well. For writing notes, planning out your week, and consuming content, it's plenty. Whether you choose to go with a Gen 1 pencil or Gen 2 pencil depending on your model's compatibility, the writing experience doesn't really change. If you aren't looking to shell out that much money for an Apple Pencil and choose to go with something like the Logitech Crayon, it works just as well. You might not have as many gesture features, however, the experience is still pretty similar. If you are really missing that texture of writing on paper, look into something like the paper-like screen protector to bring that texture back. If you're in the market for an iPad, take a look at Apple's refurbished site. Apple's refurbished devices come with a one-year warranty, new battery, and are inspected for any crazy damages, and they're replaced. You're basically getting a brand new device for upwards of 15% off, and you could put these savings towards a case or an Apple Pencil for your iPad. If you don't want to go with a refurb model, take a look at Apple for Education. Sometimes they offer gift cards, AirPods, or discounts on other Apple services with the purchase of a new device. Now look, at the end of the day, the iPad is just a tool. Just like your binders and notebooks, it only works well if you use it effectively. Use the iPad to plan, execute, do assignments, and turn in homework, and it will really change your life. I used my iPad for three years in my undergraduate career, and it made such a big difference.
And I promise, I think it'll make a big difference to you as well. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like and leave your thoughts and comments down below.